Hey everyone, so a bit different from my usual stuff with um, model kits. This is a book I'm currently borrowing from one of my local libraries. As you can see, it's to do with um, the ICA, the aircraft of World War Two, but it's only the um, the British aircraft. All in all, I find these kind of books are quite rare to get hold of, it seems. Um, I know another YouTuber which He's um, done a review on a book, and that was just purely on the um, the Spitfire, and it was by and it was from the website um, Wing Leader. He had a book from them, but luckily my local library had um, this there, and all in all, I've only had a quick like um glimpse through it all i haven't actually gone into depth with any of the um the aircraft but from what i've seen briefly you know it's it's actually quite a decent read you know i'm missing the first couple of ones because um He'll, is kind of giving information because of my location. So, you know, this one's, you know, it's quite informative. You've got range of the British aircraft and it's got like issues by uh, the artist illustrations. You get... Um, Here we go, so, here we go, so it gives you like um, a rundown of each of the um, British aircraft that was involved in World War Two. you know, it's, to be fair, there's quite a lot in here, and for those of us obviously that want to do like um, you know a read for the actual aircraft so look at the pictures to see like if you want to do like historically accurate um, models you know it, this is quite handy and Like, from my understanding, you know, I know that there's probably quite a few airplanes that are featured in this that probably aren't made into models, or if they have, they're not currently available right now, but, so it goes from, like, a to Z basically so you know if you want to look up a certain manufacturer you just go from A to Z essentially you know it's all self-explanatory so you know it's like yeah okay you know the um you know, obviously the black and white photos are not going to be really any use because the colour callouts is not going to be true because obviously these black and white ones, well, you know, like this one, for example, you know, that bit is just a lighter shade of that, but... Obviously, being RAF, you know, we know that 
that's probably going to be like a light green and that's going to be like a darker green and well the RAF emblem well its colors aren't picked up in black and white so you know that's a downside to some of them like obviously the you know that picture you know it's obviously a lot easier because it's actually showing the fact that that's the brown that's the green the emblem is in color so you can see although the picture's a bit grainy but you know obviously has to be expected with um the fact that when these photos were taken you know cameras aren't as good as what they are now so but you know they're a good reference in fairness because like again you know black and white ones are not brilliant because you don't know what the call outs are going to be but no in fairness you know there's a lot of information about each of them which I'm hoping to well, I should be able to read all this by the time that I go return the book. And even if this case of I go return the book and then just take it back out because I didn't get to read it all, that's, you know, there's no issue with that because I have got a fair bit of time to go through this. So apologies about the noise. You know, this. There's like, um, you know, airplanes in here that I've never even heard of. So, you know, it's quite nice to see, well, like, for example, you know, this one to me, I wouldn't have had a clue about. But it's nice to have the information there and have the history about the plane and what its role and everything was, you know, because, you know, obviously being, you know, World War Two, you get the typical, um, you know, everyone knows the Spitfire, the Lancaster Bomber, Mosquito, you know, all those kind of historic planes are synonymous with World War Two, you know, on our side, you know, they're the well-known ones, whereas this book shows, you know, the less known hero planes, so to speak, which I think is good, because, you know, otherwise, if it wasn't for the books like this and that, you know, this, here we go, you know, planes like these would be lost in time, you know, they'd be forgotten about because everyone knows, like I said, you know, the Spitfire and everything like that, you know, they're the known ones, but I know ethics have no long done the Anson. But, you know, this, I like the fact that you got the colour call out, so if you did find, um, a model of a certain World War II plane, especially by the British, and you didn't want to do the box art one, this one's pretty good, you know. You know, at least you've got more options to um, paint the um, model as. And also provided if you can get the um, the decals as well. Because, you know, obviously everyone... You know, certain ones are more well-known than that, you know, because of what their role was in the war. But, you know, it's nice to see, 
the models that he can get hold of and use this book and think, well, well, actually, I quite like that colour scheme. You know, it's something different. And it's kind of got, like, more talking point as well, because, you know, it's a bit more unusual. But, you know, like... Because I'm pretty sure... I know, obviously, Aethex makes the Paul Defiant, but, you know, seeing that livery there, as it shows... The Middle East, 1945, you know, that's quite a out-there kind of um, colour scheme. Like, obviously, with the fact it hasn't got the um, the rear turret, you know, that would be something you'd have to modify for the kit if you had the Paul Defiant and you wanted to do um, that colour scheme. But again, like I said, you know, that would be less well known. But, you know, all in all, you know, the fact that colours from like A to, A to Z, like, I know this one, the Swordfish, came as an ethics club kit, I think a few years ago, um, came as a twin pack, the Swordfish and it was either the Hurricane or the Typhoon it came with. And I've seen that kit. It's um, there's one in my local model shop, and I've been tempted to pick up the um, the Ethics Club double pack with this and the Hurricane, I believe it is. But in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong. But you know, the fact that. You know, it's showing off. Oh, okay. Like it shows you. Um, looks like a, a captured one as well. So, you know, there's a lot of information. It's looks like it's going to be a great read, and like I said, you know. It's got schemes from ones that you wouldn't typically think of. So, like there, but the hurricane in a. Let's see, what's it say? Hurricane. Unknown identity by the Luftwaffe. So, you know. Showing that as a model would be quite unusual. You know, to be fair, you don't see the hurricane in a kit with that. Obviously, more about the hurricane, tempest, typhoon, you know. It is a good book, it looks like it's going to be... Like I said, I've only briefly gone through it, but I intend to have a good sit down and just go through it page by page, just have a good read. And, you know, like I said, there's some planes on here that aren't as well known and typical Spitfire. You know, it, you know, it, I would turn around and say that from what I briefly saw, you know, if there was a case of if I could find this book in a store, 
I would most likely snap it up and actually buy it rather than just borrowing from my local library. At least that way then I wouldn't have to worry about giving it back and then taking it back out just to essentially keep it for longer periods but no all in all I would say highly recommended book especially for the British one um, I would actually love it if they had the um, the Luftwaffe version as well because I'm sure that would be a good read as well but um, all in all, like I said, I'm glad my local library had this book so I could borrow it and have a read through and that. So, um, if you could find this book, whether it be in a bookshop, website or whatever, I would turn around and say I would pick this up, especially if you're into the British World War II planes so thank you for watching please leave a like and subscribe as it helps the channel so thank you for watching and catch you again